Mm -hmm. Jack Kennedy.
once we get to the traffic light, we'll be making a left turn. But if you look over to your right at the fence area, inside there we have a mock-up of the Orion launch aboard system. The first thing you'll recognize is the number one, which is the emergency vehicle that stands by. And right in the middle we have the crew access arm, which the astronauts would walk through and into the white room. And on the other side of that, we have the launch aboard rocket. So those gray doors, they are 456 feet tall, and they take 45 minutes to completely open or close. When we get to the intersection where that white building is, on your right, you'll be able to see one of the crawlers. The crawler does have two driving... Historic landing and first steps on the moon. Send that to your dad. Uh took our own small step toward the future of space exploration by learning and being inspired by the incredible achievements In Florida, it rains occasionally, there's moisture, there's a lot of, uh, you know, and these tiles are affected by rain, water, and moisture. So our engineers had to take a big waterproof each and every one of those 24,000 tiles. 
and water proofing the orbiter was very very essential because we couldn't fly with a heavy orbiter. Now at the end of each mission there's tile damage, tile damage happens. On an average we had to replace 125 tiles. So if you look at the back of these tiles there was a very special number. There was a very simple system in place. We had to go and see which